When the outside world hears the name Poland, the following images usually come to mind. A grey communist bloc country, bad weather, and black and white cinematic images of World War II. Yes, it's a cold region of the world, and times have been tough here, but it's not always so gloomy. When summer hits Poland in late June every year, life is completely turned on its head, and a lot of eccentricities in Polish culture are brought out in full force. Today we're looking at the top 10 signs that summer has reached Poland. Number 10. Flower garlands. If you've ever visited Poland, you'll know that they have a bit of a preoccupation with flowers. It's a dominant motif in most of their folk patterns, a furnishing in every business and home, and something you won't find a plastic alternative of, unlike elsewhere in the world. But it's summertime when flowers really come into full force. The start of summer is marked by Vianki, a pagan tradition that ultra-Catholic Poland is yet to shake off. A Vianki is a flower wreath which is worn by young women as a headpiece. It symbolizes blooming youth, vitality, and virginity. Traditionally, young girls and unmarried women were the ones allowed to wear them. However, these days, things aren't so restrictive. In the 21st century, Vianki is accompanied by big parties, concerts, and other outdoor events. Number 9. Strawberries For the majority of the year, berries and other small fruits have been sweetening in Poland's cold climate. By the time summer comes around, everything is ripe and ready to sell. And one fruit above all others dominates the market. Strawberries. You can get them anywhere. Every supermarket, grocery shop, street corner, and even in the dark unsuspecting alleys of your Polish city. On a further point, Polish babchas go crazy with cooking strawberry pierogi as a dessert treat. Note to self, skip breakfast and lunch. Number 8. Ogórki Małosolne There are lots of cold dishes that are whipped up in the Polish summertime, but none are a real hit like Ogórki Małosolne. The expression cool as a cucumber is very much relevant in Polish summertime. However, if it's not pickled in salt, there's something wrong with yours. It's ironic that something so salty could be so popular in hot weather. But then again, this is Poland. Number 7. Socks and Sandals We see this uncanny summer fashion sense all over the world, but none do it quite like Poland. The motivation behind the socks and sandal fashion statement is unclear. Our theory is that Poles never got quite used to wearing sandals, therefore the socks are some sort of a compromise. For those hitting the Baltic coast in the summer, socks are a great way of keeping the sand off your feet. Number 6. Zestav Grilova To top off all the DIY aspects of summer outdoor activities, no Polish picnic would be complete without a Zestav Grilova, or grill set in English, and a pack of kielbaski, sausages. Of course we could just make sandwiches beforehand, but Dad says no, I never eat cold sausages. These grill sets are essentially foil trays, much like you would find when you buy lasagna from the supermarket, plus a chicken wire grill and coal stones inside. All you need is a box of matches. Number 5. Storks We know that the national symbol of Poland is the white eagle. But did you know that a third of Europe's stork population ends up in Poland during the summer? We won't criticise their choice, as we love spending summer in Poland too. Poles see storks as a sign of good luck, especially if they nest near your home. They've even been alleged to offset lightning strikes. I wonder how they came to that conclusion. The stork capital of Poland is the town of Zhivkovo, on the Polish-Russian border. Population 150. That's 120 storks and 30 humans. Number 4. Radler. In the English-speaking world, this is most often referred to as a shandy, a drink comprised of approximately half beer and half lemonade. In Central Europe, this is known as Radler, which comes from a Southern German brand called Radlermas, which means cyclist litre in English. Preceding the market explosion of 0.0, .0 alcohol beers in Poland, a Radler was a way of making sure that you didn't blow over, especially if you're on a bicycle. Naturally, cold beers and ciders are more popular in the summertime, as opposed to vodka and other spirits, which are very effective at keeping you warm in the cold of winter. Number 3. Ice Cream 
Anyone living in Poland knows that a stop by the ice cream shop on the weekend is obligatory. Naturally, in summer, this is very popular and patience in queuing, a national pastime, makes it all the worthwhile in the end. If you want a distinctly Polish ice cream, look no further than Truskawkowa. Strawberry flavour, that is. Of course it's in season. Number 2. Sunbathers on the Vistula You don't have to live on the Baltic coast in order to sunbathe. The Vistula is the next best thing to the seaside, and you'll see plenty of locals stripped down on riverbanks all over Poland around this time of year. The Vistula around Warsaw deserves a special mention. Ample amounts of sandy flats and considerably less wind than the Baltic, which makes it a reasonable compromise. Before we name our number one sign that summer has hit Poland, make sure you give this video a like, as well as your local In Your Pocket City Facebook page. And for more English language content on Poland, head along to poland.inyourpocket.com. Number one, paravans. If you thought socks and sandals were next level, you've clearly never seen a paravan. A uniquely Polish phenomenon in the summer, this Hessian holiday war makes its most frequent appearances on the Baltic coast. Poles are fiercely independent, and this mentality extends into everyday life as well, including a trip to the beach. And whatever the hell this guy was thinking. In times of pandemic and the emphasis on social distancing, the paravan is in full force like never before. We're even seeing paravans popping up elsewhere in Europe. After pierogi and vodka, the paravan may be the third wonder of the Polish world. So what did you think of our list? Was there anything that we missed? Make sure you leave a comment below, and until next time, we hope you enjoy the sunshine.